Welcome back to my channel and let's continue with the variables. In order to be descriptive with our variable names, it is sometimes necessary to use more than just one word. However, having too many words in a variable name can be difficult to read. To overcome this issue, you can use a few variable naming techniques that programmers use to name multi-word variables. One technique is called camel case, where you capitalize the first letter of each word except the first one. As an example, we have a variable called last name, so we type last name with a small letter, last, and N with a capital letter. Then we have a marital status, where we capitalize S in the status. And then the date of birth, where we capitalize O in the of and B in the birth. A similar naming convention is called Pascal case, where each word starts with a capital letter. This technique was popular with Pascal programming language. As an example, we have the same variable, last name, but all of the first letters of these words are capitalized. Last name, first name, and marital status. All first letters are capitalized. Other programmers use the snake case where each word is separated by an underscore. And we have an example, same variable name, last name, but this time we separate last and the name by an underscore and all in small or lowercase letters. Same variable name, marital status, but separated each word by underscore, date or birth, the same. One more thing about naming a variable is that you do not use Python keywords as variable names. There are some Python keywords that may work as variable names, but you are asking for trouble when you do. Keywords are reserved words in Python. That means they have special meaning or function in Python coding. Here is an example. I use int, float, and str as variable names but these three are Python keywords and these three represent um, data types like int for integer, float for decimal places, numbers and str for string but as you can see if we print this out they also work now the problem comes with the word break. Now this keyword will not work and you will get an error when you use this one. So in as much as possible, do not use Python keywords as your variable names. You have so much options other than the keywords. Use descriptive names for variables instead. I cannot emphasize enough the benefits of descriptive variable names.